got a lot of video I need editing. First things first, uh, you know what we can do is uh, we could sell our rice. Sounds tasty. Be like a four day weekend next weekend. It would be uh, how we have to tackle it and tomorrow. What do you think of that? Righteous. All right, so uh, we're going wild. We're going for some wild rice. We just made a plan. Uh, we're going to go today, tomorrow, next Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, at least. We got to replace my work with uh, getting some wild rice. So that's what I want to do. We'll have to do the math on the way. So let's get rice and let's get, let's get to it. <laughs> 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 Is that what season we are? Is that what year we're in? Sure. I lost track of time. Well, the one thing I haven't lost track of is tons of rice, so we're in the rice. Not too bad. How about you? Well, you look pretty decent. Yeah, I thought. Uh, I thought the rice was pretty good in there. Oh yeah, pretty good. Definitely, uh, definitely heavy. What? Definitely got heavy. Got heavy? Yep. Oh. Nice. Wow. I don't know, uh, Jack and I were kind of talking about uh, doing a, uh, you know, a marathon rice venture and trying to capitalize on it, but I don't know, I think that's a lot of work. needed this morning. I'm pacing around because I you know it. I think the reason I'm pacing is because I got all that stuff but it's hunting season coming up and you know it's go priorities for you. It's go time for me, big time. So definitely excited about that. Had a bad maitake last night and just kind of threw off her whole whole rhythm. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. See if I can wrestle these two cameras. All right. That's. Uh, that might be the end of the rice season. <laughs> so much for twelve shifts. We got two in. Yeah. And was, uh, uh, it was a little draining. Yeah, so that's hard work. But I'd pretty rather... successful, I'd say. Yeah. Yeah, I think we got uh, plenty of rice uh, to last us and just about everyone else we know if we need to do that. So uh, wild rice season's pretty good. And uh, I, that might be a wrap. I don't know, maybe we'll get one day in. I don't, I'm not going to take too much time to do it. So, yeah. um, but, like, this is plenty. 
I think so. I mean, we'll get 40 pounds each, I bet. Uh, I don't know. Next stop, my Takis. Oh yeah, we'll do a little mushroom hunting. And uh, really the next stop for me is, you know, I gotta work a bunch, but uh, boy, hunting season's coming up. So it's probably a, a grouse fishing kind of thing up in Isabella might have to be it. I'd love to go to the Bounty Waters. Maybe I'll do that. Yeah, probably Bounty Waters. So Bounty Waters, end of the month. That's what we're doing. All right. Peace. They definitely just kind of pull out of the ground and you can get them pretty clean without having to mess at all. All right. But uh, Jesus, some real giants over here. This is like a person, a PB. Personal, <laughs> personal best, huh? I'm gonna call that a PB black trumpet. That might be the title of the video. Wild rice and PB black trumpet. Uh, smell those things. Wow, yeah. They, I don't even know how to describe it. What it's very uh, lavender. Are these too old? No, nothing's no. too old. They dry really well. Okay. Sometimes you even find them in the woods dried. These feel really like freshing. Gotta pick. You gotta pick quick. Some skeets? Yep. Bite. Live oh, pick. All right. oh. Sweet live pan. <laughs> All right. That's a, a PB patch of uh, black trumpets. I'm gonna leave these here. God, look at that. And there's even more. Makes me giddy. Major patch. I, that, that's the biggest. I mean, we found some black trumpets, but this is a giant. This will supply the the winter. A stew saver. Stew saver. All right. All right. Just monster, monster patch. Black trumpet mushrooms. I have a two pound bag for sure, and I'm sure Zach's been picking. He's got two pounds. So a four pound patch of black trumpet. That's an all timer. Um, easily the most interesting and best find I've had this summer and I found a lot of stuff a lot of blueberries a lot of mushrooms but these black trumpets especially when they're nice if we say on like that god they're just so floral and heavenly god these are amazing use them dry them they've been preserved in the woods uh, and then you just kind of you don't even need to rehydrate them you add them to soups and braises and uh, things like that um, you can add tomatoes with them, so they're great to cook with. So amazing. And we have a two-year supply right here for each of us, so awesome. Yeah, dude, I'm Once stoked, again. stoked up. All right. Sweet! <laughs> <laughs> a sack. And she go down pretty deep. Okay. Oh, okay. All right. All right, nice. And I got something pretty similar to that. Nice. I'm gonna give that. Uh, God, that's got to be two pounds. Yeah, that's I think amazing. I've got two what pounds is, too. I, I bet I've got two pounds in that. That's just an amazing patch of mushrooms. So. Yeah. Well, that's uh, that's an all timer. Let's get. We got that's the, a wrap. Yep. Action. All right. All right. We got after finding a what? I'm gonna say a five pound patch of uh, black trumpets. Just an amazing. Mmm, Zach, that's so amazing. And then we came on our way to pick up this uh, nice little maitake. Now our maitake last night was, uh, it was, it wasn't good. So it was bitter. So we'll make sure that, uh, I guess late season maitake, you just want to make sure that it tastes good. So give them a sample. There's nothing, no harm coming from it, but uh, you know, you want to enjoy it. You want it to be at peak freshness. So that's what we learned last night. Uh, these will preserve nicely and uh, we'll have those for two years. 
Let's get out of here, Zach. The mosquitoes are insane. So yep. this trip's over. Let's get yep. it. <laughs> wow. Whew. Hopefully that's not indicative of where the day goes. No, I better make sure I drink some water today. <laughs> All right, we're ready, almost ready to go rice them. Another day in the rice paddy, another season. Right on. Last day, I presume. Well, that's good. I mean, you said you hit a five pound patch. That's not enough. <laughs> massive, I mean, <clears throat> massive. Just all in one spot, too. Uh, all in one like area, you know, about, yeah, not very big. That's amazing. Yeah. I mean, if you found a morale patch like that, yeah. don't tease me. I was thinking, I, know. I was thinking about that this morning. Out. All right, racing, it's over. Let's get. Oh uh -huh.